<laughs> There's a really interesting study that came out recently that living near a golf course dramatically increases the risk of Parkinson's disease because golf courses are notoriously sprayed with Roundup, glyphosate. I mean, they're, I mean, that's like, you look at a golf course, like, I don't know that I can find a weed, like, at any golf course I've ever, you know, been to. Um, so the, the pesticide exposure is... I would say the most classical way of inducing Parkinson's-like symptoms in animals. I mean, that's like what researchers do to induce Parkinson's is they give like Paraquat, Rotenone, right? Like these things cause mitochondrial toxicity. Your mitochondria are the energy-producing organelles in your cells. They cause it in the in in the dopaminergic neurons in the, in the substantia nigra, right? Part of the brain. So um, what's what the the prevailing theory with the golf course is that these pesticides are getting into the water source and people that live near the golf course are drinking water that has this, you know, the pesticides in it, Roundup, glyphosate, whatever they're using. So yeah. golfers don't have to be terrified necessarily. Like if you're spending a lot of time on golf courses versus living next no, to it? No, exactly. That's a great question. I mean, unless they're like spraying, like you're inhaling it. Like, I mean, if they're spraying the course, I, I run sometimes along a golf course and there are times when they're spraying and I'm like trying to get ahead of the spraying machine thing. And I'm like, I just have to like figure out when they're spraying and not run in those days. Well, I think the issue also is not so much like don't live on a golf course. The issue is a larger one that the things that give us so much luxury, joy and pleasure, like having a weed free garden, which is something that's very important. Um, we now know things and the future of food and food inc are two wonderful documentaries that i highly recommend that discuss in particular roundup and monsanto and you know these used to be things that were on the fringes of conversations and people used to kind of roll their eyes and say like that's ridiculous you're worried about hippie things but what we know now is that the things that that give us a lot of conveniences do come with a very high price and once that information is out there we are so grateful to people like you for spreading this information because it's not something we can ignore. If you're living somewhere where pesticides are being sprayed and if there are no weeds, which is a naturally occurring thing to have when there's grass, um, chances are there's there's a downside to that luxury, as it were. And, and, you know, these pesticides and a lot of other forever chemicals, these things are contaminating our water sources, our soil. Like, I mean, it's, and it's ending up in the sludge that's that's give you know, in the in the conventional farming that's used, not organic, but it's actually ended up in organic farming, too. But it's like we're, we're everything's contaminated. We got microplastics. We got the forever chemicals. We have, you know, now this the the Roundup and the pesticides. Water filters do help. I mean, they help filter out a lot of these chemicals and like small, small particles and stuff. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's a big problem. Like how I, I, the damage is done already. So like now it's like, okay, do we keep doing more damage? Can we somehow stop that damage? At what point is enough enough? Right. I mean, at what point can we say, you okay, sure you want to live to 115? I mean, you know, <laughs> it's the microplastics and the forever chemicals. That's the thing that also gets me. Right. I mean, it's in everything it's in, it's in our fruits and vegetables. You think you're eating healthy and then you're like, oh, everything's coated in forever chemicals now because it's in our soil. We did an episode on this and then the doctor we had on was like, oh yeah, it's in the ocean and in the rainwater. So it's in the air. Yeah. It's in the air. It's in, I mean, it's everywhere. So you need air filter, water filter, right? Um, yeah. So that's the, the golf course. 